Okay, so in this Blender tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this HDRI dome to get those more realistic renders. Uh, but before I start, I want you guys to hit that subscribe button right now to see more tutorials like this in the future. Hitting that subscribe button really helps me out, so I would greatly appreciate it if you guys, you know, hit that sub button and, you know, it'll, it'll motivate me, again, to post more content like this to help y'all out. So, yeah. This is the result we're going to be getting for this video. Uh, again, it looks pretty realistic, so let's get right into it. So let's uh, first delete everything, and then let's do Shift A. Uh, we will add in a UV sphere, <clears throat> and then let's go to front view like this. Let's go to edit mode, and let's go to wireframe. And then we'll just select half of the, the sphere. We'll hit S, Z, and then zero on your keyboard. And then enter. And then we are going to hit N, and we're going to change the median Z to zero, which will bring it up. And then let's just uh, let's scale it up a bit. So let's just scale it, kind of make it really big. And then we hit uh, Control A, apply scale, and then go into edit mode and hit A, and then Alt N, and we're gonna flip the normals because we're we're gonna be looking inside the dome. Next, we're gonna change the render engine to Cycles uh, GPU, and that seems about good. Uh, let's go back to Solid View and select the dome. Uh, go to the object properties and go to visibility and uncheck shadow because we're going to be we're going to want to see some shadows uh, on our subjects inside the dome. Okay, cool. Now let's head to our shading tab. So let's just create a new window like this. Drag in the top right corner and then shader editor and then make sure the dome is selected. We'll actually call this HDRI dome new and we're not going to use the principal bsdf so let's just delete that by hitting x and then let's do shift a search for environment texture and then we're going to need uh, an emission and a diffuse plug the environment into emission and then plug in a diffuse and then we're going to need a mix shader. Mix shader. Plug that there, that there, and plug it into the surface. So let's just search for an HDRI. Uh, you can find HDRIs on uh, HDRI Haven or Polyhaven as it's called. Let me just search for it. Polyhaven. And an HDRI. You can find a bunch of high quality HDRIs here. Let's, uh, I've already have, I already have some downloaded, so let's, uh, I already have some downloaded, so let's look for one that I want to use. I usually try to use 8K textures for the highest quality. Uh, let's go with this. Abandoned Tank Farm, 8K, EXR. Okay. And let's see what that looks like. Let's go to Render View. And there it is, HDRI dome but it's not looking quite right so what we're going to do is uh if you have the node wrangler add-on enabled let's just make sure that's enabled node it is automatically enabled that's good so yeah wait if you don't have enable enable it and then you know save preferences uh click on the environment texture Control t and we'll switch this to object and we also need to be able to see through the HDRI. So what we're going to do is we'll duplicate the mix shader, Shift-D to duplicate. And then we'll add Shift-A, transparent, transparent, not translucent, transparent BSDF. Plug that in. And we're also going to need a geometry node. And this will allow us to see through by plugging in the back facing into the factor. Now we can see through. Without it, we can't. And with this, we can easily see through it. 
And now it's looking quite weird here. Uh, so to fix that, we're just going to adjust the Z location. And look at that. It's already looking much better. So yeah, we want, we want to go negative here. Negative. And if we go inside, it's looking pretty rad. Look at that. Let's just add in a car. Uh, you can you can get free cars on Blender Kit as well. Um, I'm going to use the transportation add-on. Let's add in a sports. Let's do let's do a BMW. Yeah, let's do a BMW. Add in, and there you go. Now we're not seeing any shadows, and in order to see shadows, we can add in a shift a uh, sunlight so let's add in sun and wherever the sun is so the sun's over there so let's just adjust that something like that and there we see some shadows we can make it stronger by increasing the intensity so let's go with like 10 or something okay not 10 let's go like three yeah, three is cool Shadow caustics, and we can adjust the spread actually to make the shadow softer, or sorry, the angle. And there you go. That's how you make an HDRI dome for your scenes to get more of a realistic look because what's what's more real than an actual photo of the actual environment right hit that subscribe button if you want to see more tutorials like this like i said the more people that subscribe the more it's going to motivate me to you know, post more tutorials so yeah hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in next